In this lecture, we are going to talk about JavaScript-related loops such as for loop, while loop, and do while loop. First of all, what is a loop? A loop statement allows us to execute a statement or a group of statements multiple times. It repeatedly loops until a particular condition is satisfied. There are several loops such as the for loop, the while loop, the do while loop, the for in loop, and the for of loop. And there are two types of loop control statement. So with the help of break and continue, we are able to control these kinds of loops. First of all, let's talk about the for loop. The for loop is the most compact form of looping. It loops through a block of code a number of times. This is the syntax we can use, so we have to use the for keyword. We have to define a variable i. We have to define the starting value, in this case it is 0. While the i value is smaller than 4, we keep incrementing the value of i, and within every iteration, we keep logging the value of i. So that's why 0, 1, 2, 3 are going to be printed out. After that, the for loop ends because 4 is not smaller than 4. So basically, JavaScript will make iterations until the middle statement is true. So for example, we would like to iterate through. So var i is equals to 0, i is less than 10, i++. Plus plus. And what do we want to do? We would like to console.log the value of i. So if I save it, then the values are going to be printed out as you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So until this statement is true, we keep calling this line of code. And after every iteration, the value of i is going to be incremented. Of course, we can define that what do we want to do? The i is equals to i plus 2. What does it mean? That we are going to increment the values by 2. So 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8 are going to be printed out. We can say that the starting value is equals to 10 while the i is greater or equals to 0, we would like to decrement the value of i. If I save it, as you can see, it is going to be approximately the same, but in reversed order, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, up to 0. So basically, this is the starting condition. This is a Boolean variable, and while this Boolean statement is true, JavaScript is going to execute these commands. Okay, and of course, after every iteration, we keep decrementing the value of i in this case. What about while loop? A uh, while loop is going to contain a single Boolean statement, and while that given condition is true, JavaScript is going to execute the commands within the brackets, as you can see. By the way, just for demonstration purposes, let's create a one-dimensional array of names. So for example, Adam, Kevin, then Joe, then Bob, for example. And we would like to iterate through this one-dimensional array and print out the values one by one. So we start with index zero, because in this it starts with zero, while the i is smaller than the names.length. This is how we can get the number of items within the one-dimensional array. We keep incrementing the value of i, where i is the index, basically. So let's rename it to index. So instead of i, we have the variable name index, and we would like to print out the names one by one as far as the given indices are concerned. So if I save it, as you can see with the help of the for loop, we are going to consider the names on a one by one basis and we keep printing them out. So this is how we use a for loop. Of course, we can do the same with the help of a while loop. So we have the index initialized to be zero and while the index is smaller than the names.length, what do we want to do? We would like to print out console.log and for example name is and we want to concatenate with the names at the given index. 
and after that what do we want to do we would like to increment the value of the index this index plus plus is the same as index equals to index plus one so usually we use the plus plus notation so if i save it it is going to be the same because the index is zero at the beginning and the names dot length is equals to four this is why it is true so these commands are going to be executed so the name is adam and we keep incrementing the value of the index in the next iteration the index has the value one one is smaller than four so again we keep printing out that the name is kevin and we keep incrementing the index in the next iteration the index is two we keep printing out joe and so on so this is how the while loop works while this statement is true then the commands within the brackets are going to be executed and finally we have the so-called do while loop so do while loop will execute the code block once before checking if the condition is true then it will repeat the loop as long as the condition is true so basically here we do something and after that we check the given condition whether it is true or not so for example we would like to make sure that we create a variable i or a number is equals to zero at the beginning and we would like to do what do we want to do we want to print out so console.log the number itself but first of all we would like to increment the value of the number by 10 and of course we have some boolean statement so while the number is smaller than 50 so what does it mean exactly that while the number is smaller than 50 we would like to increment the value of the number and we would like to print it out so in the first iteration we increment the value by 10 so 10 is going to be printed out and because 10 is smaller than 50 again javascript is going to run these lines of codes so that's why the result is going to be 10 20 30 40 and 50. so this is how we use for loop while loop and do while loop thanks for watching